Hey guys, Connor here tonight to share a message with you again. And I'm camping. <clears throat> and uh, it's a little rainy, but uh, the Lord's still with us, so I can still study His Word. <laughs> um, great way to fill the time. <laughs> um, and I thought the water, the rain, was quite symbolic of what we're going to look at next here. I was continuing on through um, John 1 in devotions, and again stood out that, that theme of um, not taking credit for um, things that I shouldn't take credit for. Um, and, you know, I just like I said, as I look around, mankind seems to do that a lot. And that's sin, that's, that's pride. And um, we need to get rid of that if we're a Christian, just like John the Baptist, you know, was very humble um, and honest and, and, and effective with what he did here. I'm looking at John 1, 19 through 20, about 28, we'll see. Now, this was John's testimony when the Jewish, the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. Who he was, excuse me. He did not fail to confess, but confessed freely, I am not the Messiah. They asked him, Then who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Finally, they said, Who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of the one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way for the Lord. Now the Pharisees who had been sent questioned him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? I baptize with water, John replied. But among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who comes after me, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. This all happened at Bethany on the other side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. And yeah, there we go. The, the rain, I thought, was quite uh, relevant to the, the baptizing of water. And so John was sent, John the Baptist was sent to make the way for the Lord. He could have easily told them, you know, he was a prophet or he was this special guy. But um, he did not. He said, I am not the Messiah. I am not the prophet. He was humble. He had really no pride that we see in there. He didn't take credit for any of it. He said, I baptize with water. Um, but the one who comes after me, he's the real deal. Jesus is the real deal. Um, so, uh, like I said, that continuing theme that I'm seeing, the, the Lord's showing to me, because I know um, it's something that's prevalent in, in my life and in others around my life, is, is that pride. We take credit um, for things and and we say things are our own, but they are not. And um, John the Baptist didn't do that. I mean, what was it? He he, he ate um, locusts and wild honey for his diet. He, he was not a special guy, nor did he claim to be special at all. So likewise, I think um, if we're going to be effective servants for Christ, if, if we have given our life to Christ, um, if we have put our trust in him and, our, and um, to receive eternal life, um, uh, I think our life shouldn't show that pride. I think we should develop more and more humility and, and, and less and less pride. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for um, this night, even though it's a little rainy, it's, it, it's not bad, and, uh, and I thank you that you are everywhere and we can study your word and worship you um, and uh, pray to you wherever. And um, I thank you for your word and how, how real and true it is, and I, I thank you um, for the story, for the gospel that you that you sent John the Baptist, but to prepare the way, and that you sent your son to to die on that cross to um, pay the price for our sins, which we couldn't pay ourselves. And I ask and pray that you help us to know um, more about that, so that we can put our faith and trust in you and, and, and receive that grace through, to receive that salvation um, from from your grace. And um, help us to become better servants of you and help us to lose, lose that pride and gain more humility to become effective servants like John the Baptist was and prepare the way for the people around us. 
I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.